Okay, thanks. So um, I taught myself to play ukulele a couple years ago. And I, I suck at it, so I'm trying to set the bar pretty low here. Um, but I'm a nerd, and I figured out that there's some patterns on the fretboard that make it actually very easy to play. And a lot of it comes down to these things called pentatonic scales. Um, the ukulele just has four strings, so that's easy. It's a punk instrument. It gets out of tune very quickly, so it doesn't matter. You don't worry about that. You just play it hard. I'm not going to teach you any chords today. I'm actually going to teach you just some fingering patterns. Everybody should go out and buy a ukulele and do what I do, because it's a lot of fun. Um, when the next slide comes, I'll say some more. That's not me. OK. Just be clear about that. All right. So the thing about pentatonic scales is that they're five tones. They're inside almost every music you've ever heard of. They're in Chinese music. They're in Celtic music. And there's a lot of songs that are based on just those five notes, or maybe five notes plus maybe one extra one. And so things like My Girl, which is a Motown song, which you may not know, but I'll play it a little bit later on. Um, first, there is a Mountain, which is a, a song by Donovan that the Allman Brothers riffed on, things like that. Um, if you ever play guitar, and you think of the six strings on the guitar, and one of, the, one of those notes repeats, there's actually five open notes there, and those notes are in an open uh, a pentatonic scale. The ukulele has four strings, so it's actually multiple pentatonic scales can be played on the open strings. And the nice thing about the open strings is that you can hit them by mistake, and if you're in tune with the song, it doesn't really matter. Um, so when you start learning about things like pentatonic scales, they tell you, well, there's a C note, and that's this one, and there's a D, and that's this one, and there's an E, and that's this one, and there's a G, and that's this one, and there's an A, and then if you're going to play the minor notes, then it's like things like that. But the point is that I don't really want to teach you music theory or how the scales work or what the names of the notes are because that's really, I don't know, that's, that's not fun. It's too confusing. Music theory, I think, is actually designed to teach people not to learn how to play music and keep it in a guild kind of structure. So instead, what I think is that you just learn about what the shapes are like on the fretboard and then you learn to place them somewhere. And there's these little things that I've sort of discovered. I don't think I invented them, but I think I may have named them and I call them little dippers. And so, before we get into the dippers, I just want to show you what are called cowboy scales. There's an idea on guitar of cowboy chords. Cowboy chords are chords that are played up on the neck, right near the open strings, and not high up on the neck like an advanced player. And you can play these scales just by running through open strings, like this. But you can also play these dipper shapes, which I think look like the constellation. Make it up as you go along. It goes on and on and on. I mean, the whole point is that all those notes sound good. You can play them in any order, it sounds fine. If you want to be a blues player, you add this one extra little note that goes like this. When I started learning these scales, I was, I was using a book called um, Guitar for Dummies. And what I found was that you could play along with like the radio station. And as soon as you found the pentatonic scale that fit with the song that you're playing, you could rock out. You could sound like Eric Clapton. It's very easy. I was like, is that really the, that's it? You just play that one note in the middle? See all the mistakes I'm making? It doesn't matter. Do this all day. Ah. You can play that shape pretty much anywhere. Okay, so then once you find where they're all on the fretboard, you can play up and down the whole thing. I just know where the dipper is, and I'm just finding it. I mean, you can tell I suck, right? I mean, I make a million mistakes as I play, but it doesn't matter. Plus, one thing about when you're playing music is people can't tell that you're making mistakes. So then there's also this thing called a big dipper, 
which I also invented when I'm patenting this. And it's just, you add the extra notes to make the full scale. So you've got the little dipper like this. Right, that's the one I've been playing. If you add these other notes, basically you end up with a full scale. So then you can do this thing like. Well, that's not really it, is it? Well, that's about it, but it, watch the slides later. <laughs> <laughs>